We think that the medieval period was a primitive time with people behaving in primitive ways. Yeah. 20th century was much more primitive than most of the centuries beforehand. Is it possible for peace to be in the Middle East? How many days have we got, Sasha, to, <laughs> to, to work this out? Um, okay, I'll try to make it short. Um, the Jewish religion grew in the land of Israel beginning a little more than 3,000 years ago. The land of Israel has been central to the Jewish religion for its, uh, for its entire history. Uh, there has never been a period in the last, uh, last 3,000 uh, years where, the, where there have been no Jews living in the land of Israel. They've been chased out of the land of Israel uh, frequently, uh, and at times they were down to thousands, uh, maybe even hundreds. I doubt if it was that low, but just, just a, a few thousands of Jews left, uh, left in the land. But the, the land was never abandoned, and the hope of returning to the land was, uh, was never abandoned. The Zionist movement started up a little more than 100 years ago, where people just uh, giving up on the possibility of integrating into the lands of Europe, which is where most of the Jews of the world lived then. There was only a smattering of Jews living in Canada and the United States, mm -hmm. and there were great hopes for Europe. And Europe had finally managed to figure out that you could have countries where Catholics and Protestants could live together more or less in peace after right. a number of wars in the beginning of the years of Protestantism, of uh, killing each other over whether the country should be Protestant or Catholic. And there was great hope that Jews would be able to fit into these countries. And there were strong movements towards the emancipation, the granting of rights to Jews in the countries of the West. And there was a feeling that it wasn't working. This was a matter of debate and controversy within Jewish circles. Do we give up on Europe uh, or do we stick it out in Europe? Mm -hmm. And sadly, the majority of the Jewish people decided to stick it out in Europe. And that's why six million of them got killed. But not just Jews getting killed, but since you asked about Jews, yeah, right, right, uh, just, just, uh, just mentioning that uh, the, the grand majority of the Jews who decided that the, the European experiment <laughs> could work uh, found out that it, uh, that it didn't work and paid with their lives for, uh, for sticking it out there. And Jews started to go back to the land of Israel where there were a smattering, a small smattering of uh, Muslim Arabs and even a few Christian Arabs living there. Do you see that there is a possibility for peace there? Oh, absolutely. You see, peace can only, but peace can only be established when there is justice. You know, this slogan is a very beautiful slogan, you know, which has, which has become very popular in the Middle East. No justice, no peace. Unless and until there is justice for everybody. We don't exclude the Jewish people. We don't exclude the Christians from that. We don't exclude anybody. But we say that if, like, you know, in the state of Israel, for instance, there are four or five different classes of citizens. You have the Ashkenazi Jews, the Sephardic Jews, the East mm -hmm. European Jews, the Falasha Jews, and then you have the Arabs. <coughs> Come on. Is that humanity? Is that mm -hmm. decency? Is that justice? You steal their land and then you say, okay, you mustn't complain. Some of the earliest Zionists made the uh, mistake of not realizing that there were people who lived there. And one of the slogans of some of the earliest Zionists was, the land without a people for the people without a land. On the assumption that the land of Israel was a land that didn't have any people living there. It was pretty darn empty. How would you feel if I were to come to your house, I have a gun in my hand or a machine gun, and I take all of you out of the house at the point of the gun and I tell you to get out. You can't come inside and this is my house. How would you feel? And you don't have anybody that you can turn to. There is no police, nothing. What happens then? That's precisely what has happened to the Palestinian people. My perspective is, you know, the Jews came there and started settling in a land that had a lot of room for Jews and for Arabs. Tensions began between the Jewish community and the Muslim uh, community and 
1947, the United Nations decided that the only way to deal with the problem was to partition the land into a Jewish state and an, and an Arab state. And the Jews accepted the plan and the Arabs rejected the plan. But how is, how is there going to be peace in the Middle East? As I said, there has to be justice. There has to be a recognition of the rights of the Palestinian people without taking away the rights of the Jewish people. But all of the people have to treat each other as equal citizens in that society. Mm. Has Israel done everything possible to try to, uh, to promote peace with its neighbors? I doubt it. Um, but on the other hand, how do you make peace with half of your neighbors, you know, with half of the Palestinians, when the other half of the Palestinians say that they're not willing to consider it, but that that part of the world is not allowed to have a Jewish state? Um, so when people can't think of a diplomatic solution, then they kill each other. Religious people, their faith defines who they are and what the world is and their view of the world. And so don't cross that because that's something very dear to them. And so that's why you see Muslims and Christians a lot of times um, becoming, you know, being violent to each other. Um, look at it in the Middle East where Christians are being murdered by Muslims. It's, it's, it's the same God. It's, it's, to me, it's, it's insane. Mm -hmm. um, where are those morals? I think atheists have actually better morals than a lot of uh, religious people. Yes, violence sometimes is justified. To protect yourself, an old, uh, old Jewish law, if somebody's coming to, to kill you, get up and kill them first. Uh, I would say that a different aspect of the Jewish understanding of this than uh, the understanding of, uh, of Christianity and Islam is that in, uh, in a number of periods, not always, but in a number of periods of Christian history and Muslim history, it has been felt to be correct to use the sword as a way of turning people into being Christians or into being Muslims mm -hmm. by giving people the choice of either, either you convert to my religion or you shall die. Does the New Testament take a position on the spreading of a religion by the sword and is violence ever justified? Well, there's a couple questions in there. Uh, no, spread, spreading religion by the sword, all bad. So we're not doing that. <laughs> Just to be clear, we're not doing that. Everyone, we're not doing that. The uh, uh, but, but not to say that there is, uh, if you were to read the, in the Old Testament, there's real things that have to be wrestled through in there. In the book of Joshua, there's an invasion that happens. In, Ge in Genesis 12, there's a promise to Abraham and those people for a place. Well, there was Canaanites in that land before, and there was big battles, and people died, and women and children died. And, and, and it's very difficult to wrestle and, and make sense of that. Uh, first of all, we need to be clear that none of that is... Uh, genocidal. It's not focused on a, a certain race or, or anything like that, right? In fact, all those things that happened also happened to God's people at different times when they got out of line. Uh, so there's no, there's not a, uh, there's no favorites, I think, in here. Right. That's a little bit. Um, <laughs> we're all, we're all subject to this, but no, we're not going to spread anything by the sword by violence. There seems to be evidence that 2,200 years ago there was an incident where Jews did this but not for the last 2,200 years. Right. And I'm kind of proud of the fact that Judaism has not used violence as a way of making more Jews for the last 2,200 years.